Greetings, salutations, and welcome back. I'm Dalton Cowan, and boy, do I have a mess. You'll notice there's nothing in the fruiting chamber. And that's because I'm tearing it all out. I want to build a new one. So I'm taking everything out of there. And earlier today, I took a trip to my local home improvement store. Got some supplies that I'm going to need for this. Chief among them is this piece of linoleum. Some weird wood grain. About the cheapest thing they had. So uh, that's what we got. 25 2x4s that I gave my left arm and half of my right leg for. And we've got some adhesive we're going to put the floor down with. Screws. What I'm going to do is I'm going to frame in a room where that greenhouse was. That's about three times as large. And then we're going to build shelves on the inside. But to do that, I'm going to frame it out with 2x4s and then I'm going to take some 6mm plastic, some button nails, and I'm going to secure that to the inside of the frame. We'll be using treated wood for the inside. We're going to be building shelves out of uh, 2x6 pieces of lumber and PVC pipe. But that's kind of the gist of things. We're going to get the floor in first. We've got to lay the, 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 we got to lay the linoleum and then secure it in place with the adhesive. And then uh, I'll start framing the walls. We'll frame in the little ceiling rafters for the room and then I'll build my shelves hopefully by then I'll have the inline fan in and uh, we're upgrading the duct as well I used to use four inch for this guy we're gonna be going uh, six inch for the exhaust duct with the new build I gotta figure out something for a door I might build something like I did for the greenhouse over there or uh, just buy a storm door I haven't really figured it out yet so our greenhouse just came with a zipper door both the zippers broke within like a month or two so after a little while, I got tired of fooling with that. Went ahead and framed this door in. Simple, but effective. It's just sheathed in 6mm plastic, same kind we'll be using in there. It's just got a little handle. It seals right up against the edge. Decent enough little door. Might do something like that in there. We'll see. Right, okay. So we've uh, got all that stuff out of there. So we're going to put down this nice linoleum. Some kind of wood grain. I got it just because it was cheap. We'll see how it looks once it's down. Also, it just occurred to me that I really don't have any idea how to install this stuff. So I'm going to watch a YouTube video real quick. I assumed I would need some glue and a brush, so I've got those. I'll be back. All right, so I put in a little bit of work last night and then uh, some this morning. We got that wall in. This one's mostly in, so you have to straighten up the studs and uh, secure them at the top, but that's in. The doorway is going to be right there. So the next step is to uh, secure that, and then we're going to start running plastic. Alright folks, day three, we are now uh, starting to run the plastic, put the plastic in. I haven't ran the roof rafters just yet. We're going to go ahead and get the plastic uh, around on all the walls. Went ahead and cut a real long piece, so we're just going to tack that in. I'm using uh, little button nails like you'd use for roofing. You know, those guys. Uh, so those are going to tack it in place. Then once I've got that up, I'm going to run the roof rafters and then uh, do the plastic for the ceiling. Then we can go ahead and build shelves in here and everything. And I think also uh, I'm going to be putting down some kind of trim or I don't know. Then again, these button nails stick out a little bit. So um, We're going to figure out something there, but I do want to get these corners all sealed up as well. Moving right along, I'm going to tack this up and I'll be back. Well, would you look at that? Doesn't look half bad. I cut one solid sheet that would be about 32 feet long. This is eight by eight by eight plus a doorway. So we'll definitely have enough to go all the way around, hit all the walls with this one sheet. I've been just making this up as I'm going along, if you can't tell, but uh, floors in, walls are in, plastic's getting ran. 
Uh, once the ceiling's in and all this is kind of enclosed, uh, I'm still waiting on my new inline fan. I had to get a more powerful fan for the bigger room. Also, I was using four inch duct for the exhaust. We're gonna be using six inch duct now since we're gonna be moving a lot more air through it. But that still has to show up. Class to teach tomorrow, redoing the driveway. I gotta finish a French drain out here. It's gonna be a busy weekend. Coming along pretty good. I've got two and a half walls up. That guy's up. We are nearing the end of day three. Plastic's all been put up. Still gotta trim a bunch of this stuff. Next step, we're putting up these brackets and those are gonna be for the ceiling. Once we get the lumber up, then I'm gonna stretch the plastic and secure it on top of the frame. Just kind of been picking at this before and after work. It's not like I've spent three whole days out here, but you know, considerable amount of time. But uh, yeah, so we keep rolling. All right, brackets are installed. Getting ready to start running the little ceiling rafters. All right, so nearing the end of day four here. Finally got all the ceiling rafters up and uh, started running the plastic for the roof. Just kind of tacked it along that wall there. Haven't really started bringing it over quite yet. We also went and got another load of lumber. Uh, we got some two by sixes and uh, some half inch PVC pipe, a whole bunch of those. And uh, so what the plan is, I'm going to turn around so you can see it a little bit better. We're still under the plastic to the ceiling. You can see these 2x6s that I put in. We're going to drill holes, and they're going to be staggered at a bit of an angle. So, uh, you know, just to say one here, and then one here, kind of down a little bit lower. That way those blocks are kind of sitting back at a little bit of an angle. <clears throat> but uh, we're kind of putting the shelves in as we go along. I'm going to come back in and drill all the holes and start running pipe through them. <clears throat> and then we'll put the last one on. And then we'll keep it going. So I've got a plan to have, uh, I believe it's going to be four shelves total, with the option to add a fifth on the uh, outside wall if we ever decide to. So when I first started to drill these holes, I was using, you know, essentially a hole saw. Um, all these little plugs kept getting stuck in. It was really slow going. It was a real pain in the butt. So uh, I really recommend that you use a paddle bit. I finally got wise and bought one yesterday. But uh, don't do this to yourself. Makes it look almost easy when I do that. Uh, anyway, we're getting ready to put the shelves in. And I thought that we were going to go ahead and thread all the pipes through all the lumber. Once again, making all this up as I go along. And I think what's going to be the easier route to take is just to screw these back in place. And then I'll cut sections of pipe that are just long enough to come to about here. Uh, and then we'll use couplings and a cap. To attach the rest of them and that should be a little bit easier for us to kind of thread in there starting to get the shelves in which is great because uh, I haven't been able to get on the other side of the shed for like a week and during that time we had a volunteer no misting no fruiting chamber, no ventilation. Well, I guess the window was open. It stays pretty humid down here. But, uh, yeah, some real nice chestnuts. That's probably two and a half pounds. <clears throat> but that came off of a 10 pound block. One of the few that we have left. So I uh, decided to have to get some extra muscle. This is my friend Dave, he's been helping me out last couple of weekends, but I've been kind of putting this off. We're probably like a week and a half into this build. Uh, right now, getting ready to have the ventilation hooked up, getting ready to put in the new inline fan. 
gotten a new tote. My old tote started leaking, so we got a new one. This one's actually waterproof. It's a cobalt doodad. We're going to make that the new humidifier. So getting the ventilation hooked up. We've been building some shelves and stuff. Uh, then all that's left really is to frame in the door and uh, hook it all up and get it running. So uh, hopefully by the end of this week we'll have all that done.